Hello Libra, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. Next love coming towards you, Libra. We have the Nine of Swords. The Seven of Wands. The Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Magician. And the Five of Cups. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So Libra, I definitely feel like this is a past person. You know, I've done, I did this series in hopes that it was going to bring in new love and new energy uh, in. So I felt like the next love could bring a lot of new stuff, new possibilities. But maybe it's because we're in Mercury retrograde. It only seems to be bringing back past people. So we have the six of wands in the reverse here. With this king of wands, I definitely feel like somebody's getting ready to take some action towards you here, but I feel like they're they're a little bit afraid of failure here with the six of wands in the reverse. Like they're not they're they're taking this action, but they're not doing it confidently. You know, I do I feel like they're afraid of they're afraid of failure here. We have this nine of swords. Yeah, having a little bit of a, a pessimistic view on it, feeling very negative, uh, very worried, having a hard time sleeping, just really, really wanting this with the seven of wands next to it. And I feel like that's what's pushing them forward because they really, really want this. But there's a huge part of them that does not feel like this is going to go their way. And maybe that's because of this five of cups. You know, this person could have really hurt you in the past. Um... I feel like they do have a lot of regrets, but it, I feel like they're not sure if you're going to be able to forgive them. So we have this page of pentacles. I do feel like somebody is going to communicate. Some of you guys, it could be um, with a letter or an email or a text, you know, that they choose to reach out. I just feel like for some of you guys, it could be like in a written form. Um, and some of this is because they are having so, so many regrets, especially with this ton of pentacles. It's like they're finally realizing what's really important. Okay. And maybe in the past they didn't, especially with that six of wands in the reverse. The six of wands in the reverse sometimes can talk about like not giving somebody the recognition that they deserve, you know, the appreciation that they deserve, the attention that they deserve. And, and I kind of feel like that here. Somebody could be realizing that in the past, especially because he's sitting there with his, he's sitting out of bed with his head in his hands. Like he's like realized something, like he's woken up to something. You know, I feel like this person could be you know, waking up to the fact that in the past they didn't, they took you for granted. They didn't appreciate what they had when they had it. They could have, you know, not giving you the attention or the time or the effort or the recognition that you deserved here. They maybe didn't see the, see your value the way that they should have before. If that's true, if this person did not see your value before, they are definitely seeing it now. And I feel like that's why they're so afraid. Because um, I also feel like they're feeling, you know, if I see that, if I see how wonderful they are, I'm sure other people do too. But with the Seven of Wands, it's like they're ready to you know stand up to the challenge. Seven of Wands can definitely talk about a challenge, but it's also a card of conviction and not backing down, determination. I feel like they're a little bit worried that they're going to meet some resistance with you. The Seven of Wands can definitely talk about that. Um, they could be worried that they're they're blocked or that you're just going to have your guard up when it comes to them because of the past. So they have this magician here. I feel like they, some of you, them, they could be actually trying to manifest this. Maybe they believe in like law of attraction. They could be doing that here, trying to manifest this new opportunity with you. For others, I just feel like it's them doing what they can in order to make this happen. Um, they know that they've really hurt you in the past, and I do feel like they have a lot of regrets about it. 
I would expect I would expect this message. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, I definitely feel like it's going to come in like a written form. Some of the signs that I'm seeing for you guys so far, you have fire signs. You have all the fire signs here. Particularly, I'm seeing Leo. You have Leo here twice. Okay, but you do have all the fire signs here. So you have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Emphasis on Leo. Now we have Gemini. You have all the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Virgo here again. You have Aquarius and Aries and Scorpio. Those are the signs that I'm seeing, but it is a general reading, so it could be any. Just because I didn't mention a specific sign does not mean that this reading cannot resonate for you. We have this Three of Pentacles in the reverse here with the Six of Swords. I feel like this person is worried that you're not going to want to work on things here, that, you're, that you've already moved on. Okay, that's a fear that this person has. They do want this new beginning with you here, and they got the wheel, so definitely uh, coming back towards you. They're just not sure... Um, that they're going to be received in the way that they are. Some of them are already worried that you've already moved on from this. But that is what I have for you, Libra. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.